Uh, so here we are at the Union Printers home, which used to be a care facility for members of the International Typographical Union. It was basically a care facility. Um, it was a tuberculosis sanatorium, it was a hospital, it was a retirement facility for members of the union who either needed a place to just retire and live out their days or um, needed to get better and then go back to work. Um, we estimate over the history of, of the home while it was union owned uh, that about 40,000 people went through there. In the later years, the printing as a trade declined pretty significantly because suddenly machines could do pretty much everything that the, the people had been doing. You know, buildings were shut down and the, the property was not taken care of. And then the last union printer who lived at the home died in 2013. So the, the CWA sold to a private nursing home group in 2014. Um, and they were the ones that owned it for the last six years um, when the, the care got not great. And so they shut down in early 2020 and then it sat vacant for a while until a local group of investors bought it to uh, do a big adaptive uh, redevelopment project on it. So it will hopefully have uh, all kinds of mixed use opportunities here from uh, hospitality and food and beverage to retail to residential, while also still kind of keeping a, a sense of, of the history of the place mixed throughout whatever it becomes. In this, the history of of this place is not just a history of this place. It's a history of printing, of medical care, of unionism, of uh, labor, of printing, graphic design, uh, health and wellness. I mean, it, it really covers such a wide variety of, of topics. And we found so much of that history preserved inside the building from photographs and, and documents to publications and um, barber chairs and a 48 star flag and you know all sorts of of items that that really tell all of those different histories um, and it's it's an incredibly unique collection and it's it's just a very unique story to be able to tell.